We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. <laughs> Hello everybody, Rusted Ground here and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. We're going uh, on a uh, Geth Dreadnought, but before we do that actually, I need to go down to the shuttle bay and I need to buy the best version of this new um, of this new shotgun that we got, the Disciple. That's what I want to do. Uh, whoa, whoa, easy does it there. The Disciple, ooh, it's pretty expensive, but yeah, I'm going for, yeah, all the way here. Now, let's have a look at it really fast. So, pretty lightweight and does good damage, and I liked the way it fired, so um, yeah, we're going to use that. So, let's go here, and we are going, like I said, on a Geth Dreadnought. Let's see now. Let's see where it is first. Uh, it's right here. Disable the dreadnought. Yep, that's what we're doing. Because apparently, the Geth have been, uh, are controlled or influenced or whatever you like to call it by the. Oh, okay. By the Reapers, Geth Debris Field. What is this here? The Migrant Fleet. Uh, okay, we can't do anything. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm guessing that we'll we'll be able to the Geth Debris Field. Yeah, I'm gonna read those uh, when we can actually access them. So here we go. Let's do this. The Geth Dreadnought, check this out. Scans of the Geth Dreadnought orbiting Rannoch reveal an intimidating array of features from an improved main gun and ultraviolet anti-ship lasers to increased thruster output. The Geth workforce never demands rest, wages or autonomy and in the creation of their flagship they were limited only by time and raw materials. The damage inflicted by the Quarian fleet appears minor <laughs> at best. Let's do it. Let's do it. Who are we bringing with us? Can we take Tali? Holy crap, Baroni, we can take Tali with us. Damn, yes, I want to take Tali. And uh, let me see here. So she has sabotage, combat drone, energy drain, defense drone, and and Quarian machinist. Ooh, we. Uh, I have no idea what some of these things do. I mean, I mean, I know, ooh, but she has two drones now. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking Tali. Uh, se select. What the hell? Oh, Tali, oh, Tali comes with us by default. Okay, gotcha now. And... Let me see here. One second. Slam pole, lift, grenade, dark channel, vengeful, ancient... I'm very tempted to take Javik with us, to be honest. Or Gar or Garrus. No, 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 no. We are taking Garrus with us. Tali and Garrus. Oh yes, it's gonna be fun. Let's do this old school style. Old school style. Let's see here. You are going to grab the whoop, 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 this one, the disciple, and we are going to give you shredder and this one. Yep, that's it. Very good. And no, you're not using this. You are going to be using the talon, and we're going to give you. Piercing and yeah, this one. Cool. Okay, back and Garrus is all set. Garrus is all set. Not really. Let's give him the particle rifle actually. And let's go for this and damage. Yes, please. 
damage. Yeah. Okay. Back and confirm. Now, four points. Uh, no. Garrus, four points. New back. No, sorry. Proximity mine. Mm, why not? Let's do that. And now Tali, hoo hoo hoo, energy drain, hit an enemy with this energy pulse to inflict damage and to steal barrier and sh steal barrier and shield powers. I like that. Let's go, let's go. Let's put three points in everything. Sabotage weapons and hack stuff, hack synthetics, of course. Combat drone, deploy this attack drone to stun targets and draw enemy fire, defense drone, deploy this holographic drone to electrocute enemies within its firing range and Corian machine is boost power, recharge speed, shields, barriers and health, yeah let's do that, boom, 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 I'm just activating everything and putting three points in everything because yeah, now let's see what do we have here, recharge speed bonus or health and shield bonuses, uh, weapon damage and tech power damage and tech power duration reach our speed of drone powers or reach our speed of squad mates tech powers um, psh, psh, psh. let's see now reach our speed bonus reach our speed bonus this and recharge this one let's go like that back okay now uh, <laughs> sabotage weapon and hack synthetics. Yes, please. Let's see. Increases damage taken by 30% when enemy weapons overheat. Huh. Okay. Increase power duration by 50. Increase damage taken by 30% when enemy weapons overheat. Backfire, huh? Okay. Uh, whoa. So, okay, hack synthetics fighting on your side move faster and do a hundred percent more damage. Damn! Increases all tech power damage done to target. I think I'm gonna go with. I don't know. Backfire. Backfire increased damage taken by 30% when enemy weapons overheat. No, I'm gonna go with this one. And then synthetics explode when destroyed, dealing a bunch of damage across a four meter. Yeah, radius. No, I don't like that because I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge into those things, and I don't want them to explode near me. Hack synthetics fighting on your side, move faster and do a hundred percent more damage. Yes, please. Back. Now, what else? Energy drain. Let's see what we have here. Uh, no. Increase shield restoration rate by fifty percent when draining shields barriers. Nice. Increase recharge speed. De increase damage and reduce damage taken by 40% for 13 seconds by gaining a temporary layer of armor and draining shields by draining shields barriers <sighs> this sounds nice but let me see here combat drone drone damage drone explodes when destroy dealing huh this is interesting upgrade drones short range attack to deal a lot of damage across okay and stun and then upgrade drone with a long-range rockets that deal Jesus. Whoa, this sounds very cool. Let's go like that. And then shock. And then for six points, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get the upgrade drone with some rockets or upgrade drone's electrical pulse to jump and hit three additional targets. Okay, I'm gonna go with the rocket man because I, I I need to see this. I need to see this in action. And energy drain. Let's go with impact radius by a hundred percent. And that is it. Let's do it. Awesome. We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Why do we have our helmet on? Pretty I don't get it. It's a big old shitstorm, Commander. And it's the wrong I helmet, too. I have detected two. several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. <laughs> Take us in, Joker. Several hundred, huh? Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
What do you have against the Russian national anthem? Mm. Chocolate? <laughs> she said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Oh, nothing. Uh, okay. All teams except one are physically secured. Uh, I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Oh, okay. Just stay here. You know, quietly. Yeah. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. Yeah, or maybe more in our case. <laughs> oh, uh, going in alone, huh? Wow. Man, this is awesome. Can you hear the sound? Whoa. And how do I get... This is awesome. Check this out. Zero gravity. Nice. were having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an alliance dreadnought. Jesus! It is freaking huge. Humongous. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, uh, wow. Check this out. Well, I'm really hoping we don't have to shoot the gun in here, because I don't even know, like, it'll be slow time matrix type of uh, a shootout. This is actually, um, yeah, this is actually very cool, I have to say. Aw, oh, it looks awesome. Yeah, it looks awesome. <laughs> How are you doing, Shepard? Um, okay, well, I guess. The lack of gravity is a little disorienting. <laughs> the Dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Okay. Until then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. Joker. Get don't use windows, remember? <laughs> Structural weakness. Like the Gath are just sitting there saying, those organics would never try the no windows thing twice. <laughs> uh-huh. But we will, and we would, and we, and we are. Okay. Uh, just like that. I just don't want to fall into deep space here. <laughs> Shit. Talk. Crap. What the fuck? Well, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. Good timing. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the dreadnought schematics. If you can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. Mm-hmm. Crap, are we flying solo for this? Oh, I've got shit. gravity again. Great. I'm looking for... Got it. There should be a hole breach not far from your Really? The nearest undamaged docking tube is on the other side. There. Got it. I think I found that hull breach you mentioned. Admiral Geralt tried a frontal assault. We lost six frigates. That tiny hole was the only damage we did. I wouldn't call it tiny. Not the way you'd have done it? No. He was too aggressive. I argued, but as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet, it was ultimately his decision. What about the other admirals? Zen backed the invasion, largely as a chance to test her toys. Ron gave provisional support. Only Chorus opposed the war with me, and he was right. We could lose the whole fleet, Shepard. We'll get your people out of here safely. Okay. Let's see now. Hopefully we will. 
that is. Uh, okay, taking the stairs now. And... Huh. Uh, not this way. Okay, okay, never mind. Whoa, shit! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Was a little bit scared there, okay? Okay? Uh, okay, this definitely... I don't like this. I found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Um... Okay, get data. Yes, please. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, upstairs. Gotcha now. Oh! Didn't want to do that. I wanted to climb up the stairs. Huh. Docking controls? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do that in a second. Let's do it now. <laughs> Okay. Well, that was uh, easy enough. Got it. You're clear to board. I think this is just the beginning. Whew. Okay. And? See any action? Not yet. All quiet so far. But I'm actually we detected us yet. Expecting. Here, let me see if I can get this some open. Some action. In the meantime, take a look at this. What? Ooh, what is this? There, it's open. We're clear to go. What is that? The arc pistol. The arc pistol, huh? Um. Okay, let me just look at it first. Arc Pistol. Missed it, right? Yeah. Arc Pistol, an innovation of Admiral Darok Sen. The Arc Pistol is a scaled down arc projector that only requires thermal clips to solve its power problems. The Arc Pistol uses a non visible laser to ionize the air and create a path for a high ampere electric shock. For a more damaging blast, it can be charged up. Huh. Yeah, I'm not gonna equip it to be honest. Uh, I mean, I remember the arc projector. It was good. It was very good against. Um, actually, wait a second here. Um, it was good against uh, multiple enemies. That was it. What it was good for. But that means, oh no no no! I am not taking it. I I, I like I like my um, yeah I like my 200% uh, recharge speed. Sorry about this. Maybe you want to take it. Maybe you want to take it. Let's go ahead like that then, Tali. And you can use it, but I won't. Thank you very much, though. Impressive. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. Aha, uh -huh, got it. That'll be handy. How come I don't get a new gun? So where are we at? Don't need one. We're looking for an operation center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. <laughs> of course. It is like there. Okay, but we're going this way. So, let's go. Oh crap, just give me a second here. I totally forgot to do this. And then also do this. Guardian battery. Let me take this first. Guardian anti fighter laser. Looks like they're using ultraviolet frequencies, like the Solarians. Uh-huh. Expensive. 
Bet it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's get to the op center before they lose more. This looks uh, impressive, I have to say. I like it. I like it. I'm just waiting for the first, uh, the first get. Uh oh, what do we? Uh, bridge controls. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let's activate it. Watch out! Get incoming. Here we go. Boom. Now let's see here. So. Can we deploy this combat drone here and then, uh, where is it? Gith Rocket Trooper. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun to play with. Okay, okay, okay. Well, they are right there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Geth Trooper, let's see here. Defense Drone. Yeah, why not? There we go. Um, they won't box us in, just give me a second here. around here nope there doesn't seem to be anything around here okay sorry guys let's go boom come on come on come on come on whoa uh, this guy okay um, just like that and then maybe They're throwing their lives away Okay, 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 I got it. Disable their shields. Uh, and don't give them time to recharge. Will do. Nothing that nothing else around here. Good good cool. Perfect. Nope, not this way. Are you actually Yeah, you're okay. Cool. What the hell? I stepped on something, right? Yeah, crap. My bad. Salvage data, yes please. 2500 credits, let's continue. We have something in here. Signal console. Look. The signal's hitting all Geth processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. You try jamming it, hacking it, and piggybacking garbage data to corrupt it. Nothing worked. Mm -hmm. No surprise there when the Reapers are controlling you. Pfft. Nothing Sensor works. Data. Any sign of how the Quarians are doing? We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. Okay. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? No. Anything we do here, the Geth could counter. Too many fault checks and redundancy levels for what we need to do. Got it. Geth... Ooh, Geth Pulse Rifle. Damn, this is gonna be awesome. Uh, continue. Geth Pulse Rifle looks amazing. We're gonna have to test that as well. And see if it's better than what we have. Here we go. The Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. Yeah, get the F out of here. <laughs> here we go. What the hell? Okay. The hunters are moving in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me a second here. Um. There we go, there we go. Aside from that. 
Okay, uh, what do we have here? We have this dude. No more. And then... That. No, he's not. That's it. Nice. Let's see if that console is operational. Okay, cool. Before we do that, though... Huh. One second, please. Uh, okay, we need to get to that. Okay, never mind. One second. I just want to check everything around here. Oh, come on. Get data, yes please, bring it. Operation Center Console, no not yet. SMG scope and We need to hurry! My people are getting torn apart out there! Uh yeah, okay Tali. Sorry about that. Um let me see if I can open this door. Ah no, okay. The console uh, the console the console might be the th Yeah, might be able to open the door. Okay, let's do this. Where is it? Right here. Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There! The Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. Uh -huh. A path that runs the length of the ship. Here we go. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. Let's do it. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait. If I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gap on the other side of the door. Cool. Let's do this. Here we go. Here we go. And... Yep. Door number two is open. Let's just... Yeah, let's... Ooh, 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 ooh. There could be cloaked hunters as well, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's good. Let's see now. Can we do something about these guys? Hunters as well! This guy is a down, right? Not good. Bring him. Where are they? Oh, they're right there. Okay, okay, okay. Just give me a second here. Let's do this and then this. Like so. Okay, okay. Data console, huh? Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. Boop, boop, boop. Aye, aye, Captain. That's what we'll do. Let's uh, do that. Actually, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. And uh, nope. Come on, Shepard, get the hell out of there. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we can see here, right? We got some grenades or some sort. Yeah, okay, sorry about that. Let's go, guys. 